So, uh, about two weeks ago we were out here trying to get this to light up and uh, we couldn't get anything going. Too wet. Today, uh, today it's about perfect. Basically the wind wasn't kicking up so much, but uh, it shouldn't take long to burn. We get on to our other tasks. I played hooky today, took the day off, and uh, stayed on the first night overnight. And uh, wanted to get this taken care of before it got too much longer. And you know, then my uh, mowing will be easier up here. So I should open up the, uh, the whole area a little bit. We raked the area around it, so hopefully uh, we don't catch any embers and we're going to stay here and watch it until it, uh, it dies down a bit. And then I'll split some wood around here and give myself something to do. Got the International way up there up and running. We're going to put the bucket on it and uh, patch some spots in the driveway, work in some more firewood, and uh, uh, make a lot of smoke. If it ain't one thing with the tractor, it's another. So we took the International out to do some uh, uh, driveway work, and uh, this is the uh, mechanism that controls the hydraulic lift on the back. That part there should be welded into that part there. Um, at least that's how it was. I'm not sure if that's the original way it was, but uh, things I don't have a welder. Uh, we're going to bring it in and have somebody else do it. Um, and I'm going to see maybe if they can put a new piece because this is all seized up. It would be nice to be able to take this off if you ever needed to without having to uh, take everything else's whole assembly off. So off to the uh, tractor's repair place and see what they can see what they tell us. Well, there's one of our piles of wood for the day. This is uh, most of a poplar tree that we got rid of. That fire is still smoking away. And over there, you can see two more piles. Uh, let's get back from dinner. I figured we'd uh, use a little bit less of the daylight to uh, finish up a little bit more splitting. Lots of splitting to do this year. Um, Drop the part off of the tractor. It'll be uh, ready in the morning, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, everything will work again. Uh, we want to get some driveway work done. We keep on raking this pile back into itself and uh, letting it smoke up. And every once in a while, it'll puff the life and get a good little flame going. But uh, yeah, some more wood over there. Split, split. So, probably split a quarter wood. Okay, give or take. Um, we went to the front of our property. We had a cherry tree that fell last year, and uh, took some of that, split it in place, and took a, a couple truckloads back. So, for tonight, that's it. Tomorrow morning, I'll start working again. Yeah, we're working more on this cherry tree, and we got about probably half of it split. But we spent all day split yesterday, and uh, I'm fairly sore at this point. I'm splitting my hands are killing me. Um, we walk over. We got the tractor part put back on. Took the front blade off because uh, as you're wheeling it around, you tend to bottom that out once in a while. The terrain is not that smooth. But uh, we're running low on hydro. There's a couple leaks. Um, and uh, we don't have the wrench here to take the uh, reservoir uh, cover off. So we'll have to bring it back next week and fill the hydro up. But uh, we used the, uh, the wagon on the little ATV and did some trail work. We got a couple muddy spots over here. And uh, 
failed in a couple of them. This is a, a creek run or something like that they call it. The stuff they use on the side of the highways. Um, got three spots, one, two, and this is the biggest one. It's about 10 buckets full here. And, uh, and it's really just a wider area. It doesn't really seem to be showing too much on the uh, camera. But uh, we'll see how this settles out. And I have a four foot rake at home. I'll bring it out next week and we'll rake it out a little bit smoother. But uh, we, yeah, we put the, uh, the part back on the tractor this morning. 15 bucks to have it welded up nice. And it fits good. Um, the connecting rod that's on the bottom was uh, bent so that uh, the other part that we had fixed was bent. And the people who were fixed at last bent the connecting rod based on that you know, defect. So we had to work at getting the uh, connecting rod connected up nice. Um, but like I said, it was it was just not lifting, so I'm pretty sure we're we're running low on hydro. It was it would lift, but it was just jumpy, which is usually low hydraulic fluid or air in the system. But uh, we'll bring the wrench out next week and uh, and see if we can get it fixed. I also got to find the hydro fluid, check the barn for it. Today it's uh, this morning it was 25 degrees. It's somewhere in the mid 50s today. Chopping wood. I have my. I'm in a t-shirt now. Not too shabby. Good weather for that. It's so much wood to chop, but I'd rather get it done at this time of the year than August or July. Um, I got that chop. We might make take another tree or two out of that area. Some bigger trees that we want to get down before we start building the guest cabin. Um, but I still got stuff to split underneath my wood storage area over here. Um, the apple I've got from last year. But let me see what else we can get into before we uh, get out of here for the day. Oh, so just finishing up. My last little to-do, I've had these two little uh, old rifles in my uh, basement for years now. The bottom one is a Red Ryder BB gun from the 40s, I believe. But uh, uh, my grandmother's boyfriend picked up at a yard sale somewhere. So I cleaned it up. It fires, but I'm never going to really use it. Um, it's slightly bent uh, in an upward fashion. So I don't imagine it's exceptionally accurate. But it looks good on the wall. And above that is an old 22 that my father-in-law and his father-in-law found underneath a front porch on a building they used to own uh, in the dirt. It had been there, this is a 1910, I believe, 1915, somewhere on there. Um, and I can put the make on on, on, on the links. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but the 22 has no firing pin in it. Um, and people who own them, the firing pins frequently wear out, they replace them with a nail. <laughs> and that will work. Um, well, fully functional, the barrel has a bit of corrosion in the inside that I, I wouldn't send anything down it. Um, so I figured they'd look it on the wall directly above my, uh, as my living room down below. And uh, Barney's above it. Uh, so we finished up stacking the wood. Knock the fire down, and uh, it's time to, to head back to the city. Sore from chopping wood. I think we need to create a new rule that there's no more than four hours of wood chopping in a weekend. But uh, I think that's about it. So until uh, until next weekend, thanks for watching.